Do you like sci-fi TV series of 2023? We've compiled our top movies choice, and you should watch them. For the truth is a rush. This is just a tiny bit fucked, isn't it? Don't answer that, it's Top 7 Sci-Fi TV Series of 2023. I'm counting on you to see this through. Nice haircut. 1941. There's been three murders on Long Harvest Lane, decades apart. The bodies Number 7. Is it okay if I proxy? Sorry, she'll speak to me through here, and then I'll just repeat- Mrs. Davis. Tara Hernandez and Damon Lindelof created the comedy drama series Amartya Davis, which takes place in a science fiction setting. Mr. Davis relates the story of a nun who uses her faith to oppose technology. Aside from that, this series features Jake McDormand and Andy McQueen. Mrs. Davis, a powerful and all-knowing artificial intelligence, contacted Sister Simone and asked her to find and destroy the Holy Grail in exchange for his erasure. During the 1307 burning episode in Paris, France, one of the Templar nuns took away the Holy Grail. Let's party. Then I better get going. Wiley? What is that on your face? What, my stash? Number oh, six. Fell to shit. Cities put up walls to protect themselves. Twisted Metal. Twisted Metal is an American post apocalyptic action comedy television series created by Rhett Reese, Paul Wernick, and Michael Jonathan Smith. The series is based on Sony Interactive Entertainment's vehicle combat video game brand of the same name and stars Anthony Mackie, Stephanie Beatriz, Joe Sinoa, Will Arnett, and Thomas Hayden Church. In a post-apocalyptic wasteland, John Doe, a talkative, amnesiac milkman, is assigned to travel across the rural United States to deliver a strange box with unknown contents. He is presented with a life-changing opportunity, but in order to have a chance at a better future, he must combat ferocious robbers in deadly and destructive cars. I've never seen anyone cut off a human criminals head. out so they could fight over what was left. But there are humble motherfuckers like me delivering cargo from one walled Number city to five. another. Bodies. Paul Tomalin created this work based on C. Spencer's DC comics and graphic novels, which were illustrated by Dean Ormston, Tula Lote, Megan Hectric, and Phil Winslade. During a protest march, Detective Sergeant Shoera Hassan crosses paths with a suspicious adolescent. Realizing he is armed, he chases her through the city's alleys until she comes to a halt, at which point he aims his gun directly at her. There was a naked corpse lying lifeless beside him. As the adolescent fled, Shoera realized he hadn't heard the gun go off. Number 4. War is inevitable. One must destroy in order to create. Ahsoka. This Ahsoka miniseries follows Ahsoka Tano, played by Rosario Dawson, as she meets several famous individuals from Star Wars Rebels, including a very significant villain. Following the fall of the Galactic Empire, former Jedi Knight Ahsoka Tano discovers new threats to the frail galaxy. In truth, like Ahsoka, Balin Skull, played by Ray Stevenson, is not a Jedi Knight in the new Ahsoka teaser. This series focuses on how the main character, Ahsoka, sends her student Shin Hattie, played by Ivana Sokno, after the eponymous Tigrita series, when Grand Admiral Thrawn, played by Lars Mikkelsen, intends to return to power. Number three. I know there must be many thoughts going through your mind right now. Is this the right place for me? Do I belong here? Gen V. Gen V is the most recent series in the boys' universe. The series, which stars a number of teenage actors, is a spin-off of the popular show about superhumans who abuse their abilities. 
Gen V will take place at Godalkin University, a college where youngsters with superpowers study. Many students compete to be in the top 10. Gen V begins with the life of Marie Moreau, Jazz Sinclair, who discovered her superpowers later than the other super children. This is just a tiny bit fucked, isn't it? Don't answer that, it's fucking rhetorical. The big, potentially fatal problem. It's like so. Number 2. What if what we see is not what's out there? Silo. The Silo series is a life narrative set in a future where conditions are dirty and hazardous. People have no choice but to dwell in a massive silo with hundreds of stories inside. Inside those silos, everyone is required to follow stringent restrictions in order to protect themselves from harm. If they breach these laws, they will be penalized by being forced to exit the silo, where they could be killed immediately owing to the deadly air. Are you willing to give everything? This is a threat to order in the silo. I don't care about order. What about finding out the truth? Unsolved. Number one. If you don't think there's hope for the world, why bother going on? The Last of Us. The series takes place 20 years after a pandemic caused by a widespread infestation of the fungus cordyceps, which causes its hosts to transform into zombie-like creatures and hunt living humans. The illness forces the remaining humanity to band together for survival. This narrative follows Joel, Pedro Pascal, who survives and meets his daughter Ellie, Bella Ramsey. Ellie appears to be immune to fungal infections, as she did not convert into a clicker after being bitten, unlike most humans. You trust me? This is the Order of AW Charge version. I hope you are interested in watching it and don't forget to leave a mark on this channel by liking and subscribing. Thank you.